Hey guys, so we're gonna jump right into this tutorial. This is my hair I'm gonna be using to get my hair like Beyonce's. And I'm doing it by the window because it can get very toxic and smelly. So if you're sensitive, this is a good idea. So I'm starting off with brown hair already. I did this by taking a blonde dye and developer and I got this color. So I'm starting off with 40 developer, the highest one. Um, I get Claro Professional, do you call it Claro? Whatever. <laughs> and now I have the BTW um, bleaching powder. I have a bowl and I have a brush to do my mixing. I got them all at the beauty supply store. I'm also going to be using some rubber bands to section off my hair. And of course, I got some foil to keep the heat in. So here are some pictures of what I had in mind or what to do because she has very different types of blondes, so here's an example. Okay, so before I start, I'm, I just put the wig on because I'm gonna section off um, some parts with using the rubber bands. I'm gonna section off some parts that I want to be highlighted. And I put it on my head because I have to see, you know, where I want to highlight, how I want it to look. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do off camera. So here's an example of what I mean. <laughs> so I section off the parts that I want to highlight. I'm gonna do more, but I just want to show you um, where I put them. I just I'm randomly picking places that I think look cute. So I just you know pick um pink from right here. Um, there's one over here. Just different spots. I'm trying to get it like the picture, but we'll see how this turns out. I mean, the good thing about hair dye is that if it doesn't look good, you can just dye all black or, you know, put it back to the color. So, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Let's continue. So, yeah. So, I just poured the bleaching powder in. It's about a decent amount. You know, I'm gonna, um... Oh, yeah, see, I'm showing you here. That's why it's good to have your window open because of all the, you know, chemicals. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to add some developer until I get a nice creamy consistency. I don't really have any measurements. I just do it by eye until it's not too runny, but it's not too thick either. As you see, I'm just adding in by eye until it looks right to me. So I'm just going to do that until it looks nice and pasty-like. So this is the paste you want. It's not too thick or not too runny either. So yeah, so right now I'm gonna start working my way from the bottom and up. I'm just applying it regularly, you know. There's no special way to this. I just did this all over the hair. All the parts I sectioned up with the rubber band, I put bleach on it. And the key is, I left some on longer than others. So some could be more blonder and some can be more darker because I wanted it to be all different colors of blonde. And as you can see here, if I didn't make myself clear, as you can see, some parts are blonder, some parts are more darker. And this is how I want it because Beyonce's hair is not everything that perfect toned. So I wanted that different tones all over the hair. So this is the hair after I conditioned it and I washed it out. So this is what it looks like on my head. <laughs> I'm gonna blow dry it and we're gonna I'm gonna show you the final product. So I just want to show you halfway through what I got. So I blow dried my hair so far and this is what it looks like. I love it. I love the results. You can see why I sectioned it off and you can see like there's different blondes all over. And that's what I like about it. You know, it's not perfect but I really like it. So I'm going to just straighten it and style it, you know. I will come back to you when I'm on for a week. 